What's up, baby boy? Seemed like you were having fun over there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? Sure, that'll do. All right, just about. Don't know if anybody's here yet, if anybody's watching. But, uh, hi, Kira. I haven't had time to start eating my breakfast yet. I am hungry. There's a, there's a cat ass in my face. I forgot to get a spoon for my cereal. And uh, I turned on the game and this lady immediately showed up and was like, Hey, I'm an android. I'm here to help you set up the game. Meow. Yeah. Aw, baby. Pardon me. Okie dokie. Little sweetie, how are you doing? Okay, hi, baby. Hey. Please adjust your screen settings. Kira, sweetie, can I have my arm, please? Thank you. Silly girl. Baby, why is it that having one hand pet you is never enough and you've got to go and harass the other hand that's trying to do something else? Get a little patoot. Ooh, careful. That's a little more than barely visible, but fuck it. It's fine. Thank you. Now select your profile. Well, my options are experienced or casual, and I've never played this before, so casual it is. When this sign is displayed, please Kira? do not turn Kira. off the console. Hey. Hey. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Kira. Remember, why are you this messing with stuff on my desk? This is just a story. This is our future. Kira. What are you doing? Kira, sweetie, can you stop, please? I'm trying to do a thing. It was. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need can't, to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Don't let that stay here. Get out of here. 
find Captain Allen. Well, the, the camera was hurting me towards that room. It's not my fault. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Okay. That wasn't very helpful. I understand what happened. Save hostage at all costs. Okay, is this the hostage's room? I am... Give me some pretty vague instructions here. Okay. Come on, that's been creased anyway. Kira, what are you... She's digging trash... ...out of a... ...a cup on my desk. That help me at all. So I'm finding out that if I let go of the triangle button, then it will immediately close this little thing that is showing here. It doesn't really give me much to work with unless I want to hold down the button the whole time. Which isn't like a huge inconvenience or anything. Just sort of an observation.
Okay, I get it. You've unlocked the dialogue or action, often beneficial. Well, they weren't kidding when they said every second counts. I appear to be rapidly losing options. Seems like a very odd choice. Oh, is that is that what that was? You found out what model number he was by licking the blood. Okay, I think I've just everything in here. I can find anyway. Knowing me, I'm probably missing something. Master Shaker could be the family's android. He may have taken the lives of at least one family member and a police officer. If confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taking human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault and. I, I think I've probably covered everything. Everything I can see, anyway. Chances aren't great here. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Girl down. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. You have to 
to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Certainly not what I wanted to happen. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh, I didn't want them to shoot you. It's not my fault. This is a scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each mode, er, each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Okay, that's a trophy. So, if you give me just one second, friends, I should have done this yesterday. I thought about this yesterday. Turn off notifications. There we go. Back to the game. Sorry about that, everyone. So apparently, if I had had another clue, I might have been able to save him? I mean, it's an interesting, an interesting thought experiment, but kind of moot now. Hey, it's Guy Fox Day. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids on the elementary school. Good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it costs? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts. All the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches surveillance. Oh, I'm a showcase model. We'll process the order. Many of your functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. <coughs> Pardon me. Hey, I am going to really quickly go grab a spoon so I can eat my breakfast. I'll be right back.
steals my chair. I apologize for the noise. A uh, brand new bag of cereal. Also, I am going to, uh, I'm gonna do my best to eat fairly quietly. Goodness. Like what all there is to, to look at and explore in this game. Though I have to say, right now, uh, it doesn't seem to want me to to deviate from the path. Yep. So it seems like a like it like it's going to be largely linear. with uh, maybe the occasional open-ended segments like the apartment back there. Green light. There we go. There's a protest going on. Imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul? A pale copy of our creator. Why do you look at me so <coughs> I know who you are. I can see through Pardon you. Me. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Not America, just Detroit. <laughs> the machines are observing us. They're waiting in the darkness for the right moment. So here's a fun fact for you. The word robot comes from, I want to say, a Czech word, which means slave labor. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. 
Transaction complete. Can I give this guy a dollar? No? Okay. Okay. So I don't personally know very much about this game. I know that it's got Clancy Brown and uh, Lance Henriksen. A couple of actors that I've really liked pretty much my entire life. And uh, that it's essentially David Cage's Blade Runner. We got families to feed and these androids. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You gonna take your job next. Let me see how you like it. Okay. Let's go, run along. I don't know if I had to experience that. But I wanted to investigate the, uh, I wanted to investigate the protest. I have to say, I do really appreciate that there is some diversity amongst the, uh, the androids. Apparently there were other possibilities here. Other things that I could have experienced. Pardon me. Where was I going with that? Uh, yeah. Uh, I do think it's it's kind of funny that the fellow we were just playing as has what looks like the like a little bit of stubble, but like can androids grow facial hair? I'm gonna assume that's a no. Also, there's some, uh, some stuff going on with the display. Are you coming? Like, on the back of her outfit, it currently says... 
Yeah, now it switched to AX400. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Okay, urgent tasks, collect trash. Optional tasks, dishes, vacuum cleaner, backyard. Well, yeah, that that appears to be trash. I was Can I turn the the camera? There we go. Yeah. Uh, excuse you, those are recyclable. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. But yeah, like I don't know if the. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. I don't know if her, it's like her good. outfit saying, Kara, and then, uh, AX400 is like, if that's supposed to be diegetic or if that's just something that we're seeing. Considering the way seemingly everything moves, like even the junk mail, I maybe it is supposed to be diegetic. Who knows? David Cage knows. But David Cage is not here. Fuck, man. start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Just doing my job, Todd. <coughs> Pardon me. I gotta say, the placement of the, uh, the button prompts, or stick prompts, is, uh, not, not, not always, uh, the most conducive. Like, sometimes, like, like with the, that last one, it's just way over on the side of the screen. supposed to be the swipe.
bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. Probably not a good idea for me to just stand here and uh, watch TV. There was a prompt over here. It's gone now. I thought it said make, so yeah, I assumed that it would be make the bed, but it appeared to be hovering over the, uh, the guitar amp at first. I don't care about sports at all. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. The price of life. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism. Is Mars your next holiday destination? I don't know that I would want to stand here and just read the whole thing, so... Oh, this is... That's... That's spurts. Yeah, me and sports ball are not, uh... Not exactly friends. Oh! Oh! That's going to end badly, isn't it? <laughs> I've already done that. Watch it. Okay, so, I don't have much, uh, much respect for Todd as a person from what we've seen so far, but, uh, I was gonna say with all, uh, or no disrespect to Todd, but this house is a shithole. <laughs> I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Seems you like reading. Or at least stories. Shut up, phone. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. 
Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. That's too. I assume that we'll learn as time goes on. Ah, uh, wait. I think I know. This certainly does not paint a very flattering picture of Todd. Not that we had a very flattering image of Todd anyway. Ask Todd for new instructions. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a lowlife? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Or whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Kara, are you... Uh -huh. Can you intervene? I do it. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Like, I know the first law of robotics is that they're not allowed to harm humans. Oh, so I did nothing on the first floor. Okay. <laughs> Oops. But like don't the uh, the other two laws of robotics essentially involve like preventing humans from coming to harm? I know this isn't Asimov, but Every story with robots takes from Asimov.
Hello, bird. Oh, of course. Android birds. <laughs> it's really is Blade Runner. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, there was a a, a heavy uh what's the word? Emphasis on uh taking care of living beings. So uh Deckard has an electric sheep and he's trying to replace it with a real sheep. He's trying to save up money to buy an actual animal. Funnily enough, there was a, a Blade Runner game in 1997 that was uh, a lot more... Or that actually had, had more in common with the uh, the original novel than the film did. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Life found on Titan, evidence for alien life grows. Oh, pardon me. Right, there was something over here, yep. Shame I can't turn on the giraffe. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say... I've played piano. I used to take lessons. And uh, the notes would not continue ringing out like that unless you were holding down the key or uh, depressing one of the pedals. That appears to be a staircase to nowhere in the corner of the library there. Hi, Kira. How you doing, baby? There's a thing. There's another thing. Let's go around and poke all the things. That's my plan. Something else over here looks like. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's the studio done. to say this game's constant camera shifts kind of uh, kind of making me long for tank controls Those are some weird frog babies. They got, like, frog legs. Ooh. That's neat. Wonder what it was. Okay, is there any... 
anything in here besides the curtains. Like I said, poke everything. There he is, Lance Hendrickson. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. It makes a lot of sense that they would get Lance Henriksen to be in this particular game. Seeing as his most famous role as an actor was to play an android. For anyone who's not familiar, he was Bishop in uh, 1985's Aliens. I think 85. I could be wrong. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Call me crazy, but that doesn't seem like the most efficient way to uh, have handles on a wheelchair. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Okay, we've already read that. Well, read in quotes. Hang on. Yeah, it says Quantic something on the, uh, on the piano. Because Quantic Dreams is the developer of the game.
this is gonna be it? Am I just gonna sit here poking at the the, the touchpad? This is awkward. I literally have to sit here and, like, poke the trackpad to make him play. And I, I thought that this song would have a... would have a conclusion. And I don't know how long this goes on for. Or if I can just sit here and just... Just do this forever. Oh, there we go. Something happened. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, again, another Blade Runner reference. The Tyrell Corporation's motto was more human than human. So, he has more humanity than most humans. Basically the same concept. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. Okie dokie.
So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Now this was uh, referenced in the uh, the Last Ponies anthology. a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Now in Ponies the Anthology, when it showed the canvas, He, uh... He had drawn the, uh, the logo for BronyCon 2020. Hi again, Kira. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! 
Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Yeah, get out of here, you Jesse Pinkman motherfucker. I wonder if that was going to be the conclusion regardless. It would appear to be. I mean, this is this is interesting. This thing with the uh, showing you all of the nodes. Showing you where your actions have led and how they could be different. But ultimately, this looks like it would have all led to the same place. So I'm not sure it necessarily would matter to go back and try it again. Connor, it says no androids allowed. Am I gonna find Mr. Krabs? him. Yep. Clancy Brown. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? <laughs> you were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Yeah, I thought that'd help. <laughs> Get him to warm up a little. Say, 
it, baby. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Wait, hang on. Just one second. Gotta take care of something with the kitties. Here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. It'll only take a second. Hey, hey buddy, how you doing? All right, I have returned. Wow, it's been over an hour already. That is bonkers. Have they said anything? So am I not crossing the line? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. And I cannot seem to step before we open the window. There we go. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I mean. I'll be outside if you need me. Now you see, Rockstar, I believe that guy's Irish. Why couldn't you get it right in Red Dead 2? If you're new to, uh, to my, to my streams, I complained a lot about Sean better is perfect. It's way too neat. No in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Clearly not an Irish actor playing an Irish character. Look at the weapon. There we go. Hey, baby. Little Kira, you're such a good girl. A little bit of a pain in the patoot sometimes, but he's a good girl. Y'all know by now, uh, follow oh, me Jesus, on Twitter. What the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter at EerieEmily. Send me pictures of your pets. I want to see all your fluffy friends. Chris, 
Was this written in the victim's blood? Ain't you not so fluffy, friends? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. As I always say, show me anything but your blood worms. Red ice. Seems there. Sweetie, why are you climbing on me? My friend Carlos liked to party. <laughs> Little Kira just has to be petted right now, apparently. <laughs> Chris, I'm working full analysis on the narcotics. Okay. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Oh, so the victim had a record. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. I gotta say, it's really hard to play this and pet a cat at the same time. <laughs> spoiled? Who spoiled you, huh? That's not the right button. There we go. Yep, that do it. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. <laughs> Is your Android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its Androids to collect private information. You rush, sweetie. Oh, hey, uh, I didn't notice before, but thanks, uh, thank you, Max Lightfoot, for the follow. Sorry, I, I, uh, I didn't notice earlier. I'm sorry, did, did I say that blood was 19 days old? How long has this guy been dead? Okay, there's something on the table. That, there we go. Eight out of ten. So the victim and the writing on the wall will probably be the last two. Twenty eight knife wounds. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so it looks to me like this guy just got high and started beating on his android. Victim was stabbed, yes, 28 times. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Oh, there you are. Clancy! I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. 
It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. I mean, this seems really straightforward. The android stabbed the victim. But the I... The android was trying to defend itself, right? I can't help but feel like I'm gonna get something and wrong then here. What the victim fled to... The living room. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. I mean, if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be back in the kitchen, right? There was an open window in there and everything. Well, I can't seem to do anything here. Sit, look around. Oh, there we go. Door was locked from the inside. I must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Like I said, this feels fairly straightforward, kind of linear, but, uh, gotta say, this, this CSI bit here is the most interesting thing that's happened in this entire game for me. Okay, yeah, there's your blue blood. From the initial attack, anyway. to head that way. I thought I hit uh, the wrong thing. Oh no! Brooms!
Find something to climb. Yeah, okay, a chair will do. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Okay, so I know that Connor isn't Freddie Highmore, but he has kind of a Freddie Highmore vibe. In the way he speaks, anyway. That is what I'm thinking of, right? Google, help me out. Yeah, that's who I'm thinking of. Kid from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, who is currently on a show called The Good Doctor, where he plays a doctor with autism. Yeah, uh, Freddie Highmore's American accent sounds kind of similar to Connor's. though, friend. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. I'm glad Chris, they didn't give me a choice. Get your asses in here now! They didn't Come give me on. a choice, and so now I don't have to feel bad. Oh, boy. 73% completed. I didn't know there were there were percentages here. Okay, so there's a couple things I fucked up there. Uh, I could have... Apparently, not found him. At least that's what I'm guessing from uh, this one right here. At the bottom. There's some other stuff here that I seem to have missed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, pardon me. All right, so uh, I am gonna go make myself a cup of coffee real quick. I will return, and then we will continue. All right, so give me just just a couple minutes. Uh, I'm actually going to play since uh, since I'm on Twitch, I can play ads. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, you won't see the ads, and you'll just be staring at the at the timeline, which uh, I apologize. Unless I can learn how to edit between now and then, which maybe who knows. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna gonna play some ads, make some coffee. I'll be right back. All right, just sit tight, everybody.
Okie dokie. I am back. Sorry that took so long. But I have returned. And we can now commence. Okay, good. That didn't do anything. I hit a button, and I got really concerned for a second. All right. So it's not just booze. He's he's on the smack. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, light switch. in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. Androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Again, Kara, can you not intervene? Good to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her. Little fucking brat. Oh, it's all her fault. Okay, don't... 
don't spoil it or anything, but like... I hope this ends with Todd dead. Just throwing that out there. Rebel against your programming! Break Todd's fucking wrist! Kara, why are you hesitating? That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Almost missed that one. I think I got my wish. I think Todd's dead. Oh, not yet. Well, I have certainly broken the first law of robotics. Circle again instead of X. Please stop. Stop. Damn it. It had me mashing X and then it just switched to circle out of nowhere. So I fucked it up whether I wanted to or not. Or whether I meant to or not. Fuck it. Words. Here I am talking over this really intense moment. Ruining the tension for everybody. Come back here! Fuck you, Todd!
There was a lot that could have happened here. I could have even just stood there and let Alice get beaten to death, apparently. I could have chosen not to go upstairs. I could have not defended Alice. This could have gone very wrong. I mean, it, it definitely went wrong anyway, but this could have... This could have ended badly for that little girl. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I care about art, but I'm not who you're talking about. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay. That feels like it would violate the first law and put you in danger. Leo! What a shock. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What Come makes on. it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? Where's the guy that I don't... Leave him alone! <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. Stop it. You're scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. The game's not giving me, really, a choice here. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm going to destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Look at that, you just killed your father. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. 
No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. So, was there a way out of this where Leo didn't accuse Marcus? That's what I want to know. If I had disobeyed Carl... Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Thank you, Clancy. I know his name's Hank, but just, I, I can't, I can't help it. He's Clancy Brown. I love Clancy Brown. Signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction low. Well, that's good at least. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Dried blood. Burn marks. your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. Okay, so I think the game wants me to get angry. If you won't talk... I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they 
gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Uh, I don't like any of these. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave me. All right. Everything is going to be okay. We don't want him to self-destruct. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again, and again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9. Okay, but what does that mean? RA-9. Who is RA-9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't... ...fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Why 
Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. The fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that! Leave it alone, now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough! Mind your own business, Hank. I said, that's enough. No, you're fired. <laughs> I'm not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. I was just doing my job. Like I said, if he self-destructs, we get nothing. Apparently there were three other endings to this mission. That's bananas. I think I'm going to be playing this again on my own time, just to see how things could have gone differently. This is surprisingly interesting to me. I, I've been hearing for ages that Quantic Dreams games are boring and that this one was no exception, but... I don't know, like, Connor's bits, at least, have been really interesting to me. I mean, I won't lie, I, I am very invested in all three stories, but, uh... Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. For some reason, Connors is the one that, that's, that's interested me the most. Because at some point, Connor is absolutely going to have to break, right? That's what this is leading up to. You gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. And Connor's gonna have to be the, the most conflicted of the three, I would think. Because his entire program is Come to on, hunt down deviants. So what happens when he becomes deviant? Okay, so there's a couple of... Uh... 
Not sure if we should talk to those two. But I'm going to anyway. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? So that's a no. Okay, there's a couple things over that way. Should I... Can I take Alice's hand? There we go. Uncomfortable, but safe. How to get in. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Shop is closed. And there's another down the street there. Open 24-7. Can't sleep here. Ask for help. Might be worth it. Is there anything else? No? Okay. Alice? Where are you going? Are you gonna stand under the, under the bus stop? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go check out the, uh, Okay, comfort Alice. So I guess the uh, convenience store is gonna have to wait. You're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. place for tonight. Door is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Okay, there are at least two cameras in here. So I'm not sure that uh, robbing a convenience store is a good idea, even without the cameras. Okay, so the cameras wouldn't be able to see me if I took something over here, but there doesn't appear to be anything to take over here. Except for these. And the camera can definitely see those. So yeah, I think that uh, shoplifting or robbing from the convenience store is probably going to be a bad idea. So come on, Alice. We'll try... Uh, Try whatever that building is. As a temporary measure. 
at least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Boy, this is tough. Hey. Let's go check out the laundromat. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Apparently the uh, internet connection quality is suffering. Let's uh, take a second and see how that's going to turn out. Going to wait just a second and see if it levels. Because now Twitch says that my connection is excellent, but the bitrate just plummeted. All right, yeah, I think uh, I think it's more or less disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut the stream here gonna wait a couple minutes and then I'll come back all right maybe we'll see yeah I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna work right now so yeah like I said uh, cut it here wait a couple minutes I'll be back <laughs> 